These are the exact same tips that I use personally to help me score full marks for my sejarah trial papers and also A plus for my sejarah during SPM. These are the tips that you can actually use yourself to help you score full marks for sejarah. This first tip is gonna be the one that actually help you get full marks but no one wants to mention it at all. By asking hints on what is gonna come out for the exam from your teachers, it will give you a much better understanding and you can focus directly on what is coming out. Everybody is trying to be integrity and I honestly support that. However, this exam is just a game that we are trying to play. We are trying to get full marks for this paper. I'm not saying that you should only rely on the tips that has been given. Try to study for the whole book but just focus right before exam to study back on the tips that has been given because I really don't want you guys to miss out on the tips because they are so valuable in order for you to get really really high marks or full marks at all. However, during SPM, we will not receive any kinds of tips from the teachers or lecturers. So it's still better to train yourself to study the whole book but during your trial papers or during school examinations, you can get some hints to help you ease on the process of memorizing the whole book. What I realized after years of studying Sajara is that if you study the whole Sajara textbook, you can get at most 90 plus marks, which is already very sufficient if you're trying to study for SPM. However, if you really want to go all in and get the 100 marks, it's better to get the tips from your teachers in order to get the additional 10 marks to achieve to propel yourself to get 100 marks. Rather than just relying on the sejarah teachers that is teaching you, you can also ask tips from your friends from other class so you can get and achieve more tips. I was so tenacious during my secondary school that I actually went into the teacher's office and asked around all the sejarah teachers for hints or tips about the exam. What I'm trying to say is that don't be too morally challenged when using these tips. If you study the whole book already, you have a firm understanding of what the subject is already trying to teach, the tip is just gonna help you get better grades because you already fully understand the sejarah topic. The next tip is the most critical one yet most of us try to ignore, which are trial papers. We did mention that we are not getting any kinds of tips or hints about the sejarah paper during the true SPM, right? Well, that is not entirely true because we have trial papers. Teachers who are responsible for making sejarah paper for SPM actually mostly come from MPSM, MRS, M, SBP and also MPP3. So try to focus for these trial papers from this specific school. You can use this trial.spmpaper.me website to help you search for all the trial papers that you want to do and use it for revision. What I realized after my SPM paper is that these trial papers are actually very similar to the actual SPM Sejarah paper. What you realize after doing all these trial papers from all the school is that these trial papers from the school that I mentioned just now will be slightly more difficult from the rest. So what I do last time for my SPM is that I find the topics that's mentioned by the Sejarah trial papers, select those topics, list it down and study those topics more before the exam. So, there's only so much question that the teachers can come up with for Sejarah because Sejarah doesn't change. Oftentimes, the question is asking for the same thing but they are just phrased differently. So treat the trial papers like a big question bank and you can do all the questions. One of the most critical thing that you need to do for Sejarah paper is to search out for the keywords and memorize them. The keywords are what will give you the marks. There's a lot of time where I see a lot of my friends who didn't write the keyword yet they're still roughly describing the same point as me but they still don't get the mark because they don't have the keywords. Now the hardest part of the whole Sejarah paper is the structure questions. Structure question is not something you can just goring out of thin air. Instead, you need to memorize the exact same phrase from the textbook. If you can master the structure question for the Sajara paper, you are basically guaranteed an A plus for your Sajara paper. So how do you master the structure question? It's by simply memorizing everything you can from the Sajara textbook. I'm not gonna scheme out by saying that you can actually not study for certain subject or certain topics for Sajara because anything can come out for Sajara. For me, I memorized the whole Sajara textbook for Form 5 and Form 4. Since you have mastered the structure question, now let's get into an easier part which is the Kebat question. Some of you might think that the Kebat question are actually the hardest because it's so difficult to come out with points. But in this section, you must trust yourself. The Kebat question points can actually be goring out of thin air as long as it's applicable and also making sense. If the question mentioned Jelas Khan or Hurai Khan, 
meaning you need to explain it. So how do you answer this question exactly? In this case, the answer must include two main components. The first is ayat topic and also ayat hurayan. The first ayat is to state your main point and the second ayat is to explain the main point. Each of these ayat will give you one mark and the ayat hurayan can come in the form of chontos or you actually explaining how does it work. For essay question that is 10 marks, it requires five ayat topic and also five ayat hurayan. So what I do during my SPM is to write more points than the marks given so that the teacher can filter out what are the actual right points and leave out from the wrong ones. So now let's talk about objective. Most people like to do objectives because it's easy. It's the same as me. I like to do objective because it feels like I actually memorize everything. But if you have mastered the care by question, the structure question, the objective question is not really worthy of practicing. Okay, I understand that sejarah can be quite a boring subject for some of you but it is important that we study our own sejarah our own history of our own country try to love the subject and form curiosity for sejarah because sejarah actually implicates every part of our life living in Malaysia studying Malaysian history has a Malaysian you can actually see all the artifacts from all these historical events the next tip is gonna be about how you're gonna memorize the sejarah topic so what I did last time during my SPM is to memorize the sejarah textbook directly because the textbook is the most reliable one and it's approved by the Ministry of Education. If you rely on the notes that's been given by other people, it might not be true and the information that's been written there is being distorted and being misinterpreted. The Sejarah textbook is the entire syllabus so study the whole syllabus. Now that you need to memorize everything, how do you select what to memorize? The first thing you can skip out on is dates and tarik. Other than objective, dates are not giving you any point in structure or in essays. However, it is very useful when you're trying to relate it with the timelines. All the perjanjian and perlembagaan are very important, especially in the Form 5 syllabus. All the kepentingan, cara, factors that are in the textbook must be memorized also because it is very important and most of the time, the structure question will ask these questions. All the points that you memorize for this kepentingan Pentingan, cara, factors from the textbook can actually sometimes be used for the care questions also. Basically, the whole textbook is very critically important and try to memorize everything you can. But you can make the process easier by highlighting. The Embas Kembali session in the textbook can be fully ignored. I'm not gonna pretend that sejarah is an easy subject to memorize, however, it is quite fun to do so. Studying the whole sejarah paper is actually made out of mostly memorization. So, in this video, I mentioned deeply on how do you memorize things more efficiently for all subjects which includes sejarah. 